Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Soldiers and so warriors protesters clash few hours after resuming protest in Abuja video. Hello everyone. A very one big thank you to you. Thank you so much for your support. We really truly appreciate you. God bless you. Thanks for always being there. This morning we presented you with the news that NSAS protests have started again and guess what? Who is leading the pack at this time? Yes, so the one and only conveyor, uh, revolution conveyor, Omoyole Showore have started the protest again in Abuja where they have closed the police headquarters Quarters, as well as the airport so that everyone coming in and out of Abuja can see exactly what is going on. Nigerian youth went on and protested with regards to police brutality, but Nigerian government, you know, stole the show when uh, some hoodlums and what have you got into the whole process and destabilized the reason, the whole reason why youth stood up to say enough is enough. A lot has been going on and uh, I mean we've made our claims but up until now we've not really gotten substantial and quality response. What they did was that they brought hoodlums to come and destabilize the whole process. Anyway the process has started again and this time we move. This is what is happening. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. You just watch the video of all that is happening in Abuja. Yes we are standing up together as a unit as one people because police brutality and evil in our society have to come to an end. Let's get straight and get all the details. Hmm. Soldiers and Soware protesters clash few hours resuming protests in Abuja. There has not been any answers throughout the nation after the shooting of peaceful protesters which took place in Lekki. Series of looting, violence, destruction of both government and private property, etc. have been taking place across different straight states of the nation after the Lekki shooting as angry hoodlums and thugs hijacked the answers protests. So were and some youths restarted the NSAS protest in Abuja just yesterday and hours later they were they had already had clashes with soldiers and security personnel. Showore and some youths restarted protests and you could see in them in their numbers. They painted NSAS with red paint on the road and that led to the airport and police quarters. The soldiers were trying to stop them from protesting, which didn't go down well. And the protest and the protesters and it led to moments of conver different coheated conversation between protesters and the soldiers. Nigerian soldiers are so impatient set of people. They've got no temper at all. No decorum. I don't know how they got into office. I don't know who took them into office. I don't know exactly what they are doing. I don't understand these people one bit. Let's continue. Why the soldiers were trying to speak, the youth kept ranting answers now as they stood their ground against the security personnel. In the video you could see the soldier standing in the painted area warning a lady not to put up her camera to video anything that is going on. Well this is Nigeria and um, soldiers are becoming the new brutalia in the in, in the park. They are the ones now who are making sure that Nigerians suffer. I tell you sincerely. The way they behave in this country only God will truly save us. The way they behave is is on is on head of you see, so this is how they oppress Nigerians needlessly and they keep on oppressing Nigerians. This has got to stop at some point. We cannot allow them to keep manipulating us. We cannot allow them to keep, you know, de disguising under the under the face of leadership and making sure that Nigerians suffer, which ought not to be. We are a people, we are a voice, and we need to be heard. You know, what is going on in this country is so unimaginable. How Nigerian police are now the recent... You know, the recent one who does, who are terrorists, kind of. You see, they will beat people, put them in gutters. You know, it's a lot going on in this country. They will put them in gutters and, you know, maltreat people. You know, they don't even care what is going on. 
I don't even care what is going on with the person. This is on. This is unacceptable. They are meant to be serving us, but they've been meant. They've been told. I don't know who told them that um, they are. They are to be feared. You see, so they go about and they do their things anyhow. Is on. Is is unethical. Is unheard of, and should never be done. Anyway, my people, this is happening in Nigeria. Uh, Ensas again is picking up momentum, and very soon we'll be keeping you up to date as the matter unfolds. This is actually happening again. And again, we are beginning to see, you know, different words being said here and there with regards to this incense protest. And Nigeria is moving forward. We were saying today, and we are saying it again, that is enough, enough of police brutality, enough of evil going on in our society. We cannot allow it to continue. Leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts. God. So that was what Runo Mokri did today, you know, started the whole incense uh, protest thing. And um, the army, you could see the army came around trying to stop them. Them. They wrote it on the ground, and I mean, in this country, only God will really help us. You know, God has to help us in this country. Freedom of expression, freedom of rights is being trampled upon because our leaders have no value and have passed it down to the security agencies that are supposed to be protecting life and property in the states. But guess what? They are now the aggressive ones. You know, we presented you with a news today of what happened in all your state where a girl, I mean, with no, with no, with no uh, acceptance that dressing indecently is wrong, is right, I beg your pardon, but you don't, you don't go around and start hitting people on the road. I mean, a lady, she was being flogged on the street because she dressed indecently. Yes, I know what she's done is wrong. You know, we, we don't condone such and we're not saying what she has done is right in any way, but you don't just go ahead and start hitting people. You don't go ahead and start intimidating people. That's what Nigerian government have started doing, you know, and they're allowing it. They in a broad daylight, they allow evil to continue. Nobody, you know, looking out for the for the for the welfare of the public. The welfare, the public has now become the ones who are serving them. They are not servant leaders. They are not people who truly want the voice of the people to be heard. In fact, if anything, they want to suppress the masses more and more. Oppression at the peak, you know. We don't see the Muhammad Buhari who is supposed to be Nigerian leader. Where is he? Where is he? All we hear is Garuba Shewa, where we're hearing Femi Adeshino, or they are trying to do some cover up. Is this a country? When it was time for election in 2015, they were going around the country. You know, it's making one to want to believe, you know, regarding what people are saying that happened in 2017. And yet they've not even tried to say, okay, let us even bring out the Buhari to address this, the, 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 the nation. It does not address anybody. He stays there. The whole answer thing was to go out, was to it was going to blow up. You know, they had to find a way to try to cover up the whole matter, and that would have led to so many things. But guys, this is what is happening in this country. We need to rise up. We need to make them know that we have a voice. We are a people, and we cannot be intimidated. It's wrong. You cannot you cannot intimidate the very people you're supposed to be protecting, the very people you, you came into office and you sworn to protect. Apparently, it's, it's, that's not the case. The government of today is rather Nigerians are the ones serving them. How can we continue like that? It's not, it, it ought not to be. It ought not to be. Anyway, guys, reality check. This is what is going on in our country. What do you think? We'd like you to leave us a comment. Please like or share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. A very warm big thank you to you. We appreciate you for always being there. God bless you. Bye for now.